Yeah, what's up everybody? Yes, it's me, the one and only last dragon of the watch community, Richard Prophet, and welcome back to the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate channel. I know, I know, I've been gone. I've been gone a couple of weeks. Uh, we're still here, I'm still out here in Miami. We've been out here uh, about two months. I'm at my condo. Uh, I'm actually hanging out at uh, one of the pools in my condo. And uh, I decided, uh, you know, we got to get back. We got to get back to the videos. I know everybody's like, yo, Prophet, Prophet, when's the new video? Dragon, when's the new video? All right, so here we go. The videos are going to come now, Fast and Furious, and of course, Rolex videos every Sunday. So uh, let's get into the intro. D, what's up, D? Let's get into the intro, and let's get into today's video. Ah! Yeah, best intro, best intro in the watch space, hands down. Ah, all right. So, I've been a little, I've been kind of absent lately because I've been a little disappointed uh, with the watch community. Well, not really the watch community. I'm, let's just say uh, a few, a couple of the creators on watch to on YouTube in the watch space. Uh, you know, I mean, where's the love? Where's the love for watches? Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like, you know, you want to be famous. You know what? That's a whole nother video. So let me just, let, let, let's just bypass that for a second. And let me just get into today's video. So today's video is, uh, I want to read some of the comments uh, that was made on, I made a video, I made a past video uh, in New York about being a landlord in New York. If you are a landlord in New York, New York, if you are a landlord, New York City hates you, right? So I made that video some time ago and I put it up. And uh, yesterday I was just going through some of the uh, some of the comments and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna address uh, a couple of these comments. So uh, I wanna talk right, about, uh, let's see, a couple of these comments here. Again, so this is the video. If you are a landlord, New York City hates you, right? Uh, yeah, so we all know I am a landlord in New York City. That is my primary business. But I, I'm out here in Miami. You know, I escaped to Florida. I've been here for the last two months. Uh, yeah, so I don't know when I'm going back. But anyway, so a couple of the comments. Mayo did nothing wrong. Kill all landlords. All right, that comes from Kirk. Thank you, Kirk. Uh, you say kill all landlords. All righty, then. Uh... Alright, so next, oh, we have Darwin Wallace. Darwin Wallace. Uh, I am so glad your bubble is bursting. Maybe you'll have to switch to bourbon now that your unearned profits will be more modest. Well, thank you, Darwin. Uh, hoping that I go straight down to hell, but uh, I don't think so, my friend. I don't think so. But thank you anyway. While I'm sipping a 21 year old tonight, Scotch. I would be thinking about you, Darwin. Thank you very much. Cheers to you, family. Hold on a second. I got something for you, Darwin. That ain't water, let me tell you. All right, now. Uh, Florin writes, it's crazy, must be fake. Everything I said in that video is true, my friend. You can check it out for yourself. That is the state of New York City right now. All right, so this, this comment here is what got me and got me wanting to make this video. So let's talk about it. All right, so this comment comes in from jchan2811. What's up, jchan? Uh, so here you go. Horror stories all over New York City. I had bought a three family last year in foreclosure. Uh, there was a holdover tenant that I had to pay to leave. Yeah, I know, I know you're paying Jay. I do that all the time. But anyway, uh, there was a holdover tenant that I had to pay to leave. I found out from the neighbor that this holdover tenant broke into this house years ago when it was vacant and for sale. He changed the locks and rented out the other apartments and collected rent. Hold on a second. 
he changed the locks he changed the tenant so the holdover tenant broke into this house years ago when it was vacant okay uh he changed the locks and rented out the other apartments and collected rent. So the tenant, a guy that it's not even a legal tenant, he broke into the the house when it was vacant and for sale, changed all the locks and rented out the apartments and collected rent. Jesus Christ. When the own when the then owner found out, he called the cops, but the thief tenant produced a utility bill. Of course he's got a utility bill. Of course he's got a utility bill. Anybody can get a utility bill under their name as long as they get the mail. Uh, and a fake lease. So the tenant produced a utility bill and a fake lease. Anybody can make up a lease. Of course he's got a lease. Anybody can draw a police. And a fake lease. So cops said this is a housing court matter. Uh, which is absolutely true because I have I have I have called cops on occasion where they show up and if it's you, it's a dispute between you and the tenant, they will tell you, oh, this is housing court. This is civil court. Uh, we have nothing to do with this. We can't do anything. So, okay, so the cop said this is a housing court matter. The tenant knew every trick in the book to delay the eviction. This is what we call professional tenants, Jay. Professional tenants. Uh, the tenant knew every trick in the book to delay the eviction. Eventually, the den owner got foreclosed on Wow. Eventually, the den owner got foreclosed on. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, they're doing some work in the building. That's why you hear some noise in the background. Uh, they're like working on the hot tub or whatever, making it brand new. So whatever, I'll deal with the noise. But anyway, eventually, the den owner got foreclosed on and the den owner got foreclosed on. So the owner of the building couldn't make his mortgage payments because he couldn't rent the apartments because they were already illegally rented by the professional tenant. Wow. And he couldn't sell it because nobody wants to buy it with tenants in it. Wow. So eventually the then owner got foreclosed on and I purchased it and paid him money to leave. The professional tenant, he paid the money to leave. What's called the holdover tenant. Uh, this is the fifth house he ran the scam on. Let me read that again, family. This is the fifth house he ran this scam on. The NYP arrested him once, but he sued the NYP for a hundred million dollars. Uh, he lost, obviously. This is what these tenant-friendly laws enable. Uh, and that email was from J Chan 2811. J Chan 2811. Jay Chen, uh, check this out. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, man. I got, I got, I myself have a lot of horror stories, tenant horror stories. I mean, none as bad as this guy because I have never been foreclosed on. I, thank God, have never, it's never gotten that bad for me uh, where I was foreclosed on. Like, people don't understand when you are buying multi-family rental residential income in states like New York, New York, California, Oregon, these type of uh, Portland, you know, Portland, Oregon, these type of cities where, where it's F you, you're the landlord, F you, F you, these, these states where it's F you, you're a landlord, F you. I, I don't care if you're a homeowner, you consider yourself a homeowner. This is your first home, but you bought a two family, you bought a three family to, you know, offset some of the mortgage and you could get an apartment for cheap. You know, it's F you. These states, again, New York, New Jersey, Portland, California, you know, these places where it's F you, you're a landlord. I mean, now, now, right now, this is the most dangerous time ever to be a landlord uh, in the four, uh, aforementioned states. I mean, you know, you if you if you don't have other businesses, other properties, other whatever that can't subsidize the whole mortgage, the entire payment, then I would say don't even do it. <coughs> if you wanted to get into a three family house, a four family house and you need or even a two family house and you needed that income 
from that apartment to pay your mortgage, don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. It's dangerous. It's, it, 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 you know, you're, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. And you're not the house. The house is the tenant. And the house always wins. You know, on the off chance that you might get some, it's okay. But right now, the tenants are the house. The tenants are the house. And at the end of the day, the house always wins. Right now in New York City, in California, in Oregon, in New Jersey, the tenants are the house. And every gambler knows that the tenant always wins. So, Jay Chan, I hear you, brother. Uh, I mean, it sounds like it works out for you because you got rid of the tenant. You paid over the holdover tenant, and that was a blessing. See Cookie in the background? And that was a blessing. God bless you. But the other guy, the other guy, the owner of that property, that got foreclosed on, he's screwed. He's F because he not only got foreclosed on the house, but now that's on, you know, that's on his credit. He not only did he lose the house, but he got foreclosed on. So right now he's probably eating, you know, soup out of a can somewhere, renting a room. Renting a room. Renting a room. <coughs> Imagine being a 50 year old guy renting a room getting getting you know your winter boots because you're in New York City getting your plastic winter boots from Payless and eating you know tuna fish and your snacks from the 99 cent store at 50 years old I, Jesus Christ and it's all because it's all because These states, the, the aforementioned states, have made the tenants the house. And it shouldn't be that way. I mean, it's not even fair. Fair, I understand, is not an adult word. I tell Cookie all the time, fair is not a word for adults. That's a children's word. That's a children's uh, word. That's a word for kids. Fair is not a word for adults. But, I mean, I mean, goddamn, man, goddamn. Hey, it's not... It, it's not right, man. So, hey, we're in Miami. We've been here for, uh, I don't know, almost about a month and a half, two months, whatever. And uh, I don't know when we're going back, man. You know, we're at a condo here in Miami, just chilling poolside. And uh, all I can say is God bless America. God bless America. God help us. God help us all. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. Uh, if you're into watches, join us on Sunday where we talk Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. The Holy Trinity of Watches, there's three. The Holy Trinity of Watches. Number one, Rolex. Number two, Rolex. And number three, Rolex. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And uh, I'm out. Thanks for joining us. Mm. Uh, which is absolutely true because I have, I, have, I have called cops on occasion where they show up and if it's you, it's a dispute between you and the tenant, they will tell you, oh, this is housing court. This is civil court. Uh, we have nothing to do with this. We can't do anything. So... Okay, so the cop said this is a housing court matter. The tenant knew every trick in the book to delay the eviction. This is what we call professional tenants, Jay. Professional tenants. Uh, the tenant knew every trick in the book to delay the eviction. Eventually, the then owner got foreclosed on. Wow. Eventually, the then owner got foreclosed on. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, they're doing some work in the building. That's why you hear some noise in the background. Uh, they're like working on the hot tub or whatever, making it brand new. So whatever, I'll deal with the noise. But anyway, eventually the den owner got foreclosed on and the den owner got foreclosed on. So the owner of the building couldn't make his mortgage payments because he couldn't rent the apartments because they were already illegally rented by the professional tenant. Wow. And he couldn't sell it because nobody wants to buy it with tenants in it. Wow. So eventually the then owner got foreclosed on and I purchased it and paid him money to leave. The professional tenant, he paid the money to leave. What's called the holdover tenant. Uh, this is the fifth house he ran the scam on. Let me read that again, family. This is the fifth house he ran this scam on. The NYP arrested him once, but he sued the NYP for $100 million. Uh, he lost, obviously. 
this is what these tenant friendly laws enable. Uh, and that email was from Jay Chan, 2811. Jay Chan, 2811. Jay Chan, uh, check this out. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, man. I got, I got, I myself have a lot of horror stories, tenant horror stories. I mean, none as bad as this guy because I have never been foreclosed on. I, thank God, have never, it's never gotten that bad for me uh, where I was foreclosed on. Like, people don't understand when you are buying multifamily rental residential income in states like New York, New York, California, Oregon, these type of uh, Portland, you know, Portland, Oregon, these type of cities where where it's F you, you're the landlord, F you, F you. These, these states where it's F you, you're a landlord, F you. I, I don't care if you're a homeowner, you consider yourself a homeowner. This is your first home, but you bought a two family, you bought a three family to, you know, offset some of the mortgage and you could get an apartment for cheap. You know, it's F you. These states, again, New York, New Jersey, Portland, California, you know, these places where it's F you, you're a landlord. I mean, now, now, right now, this is the most dangerous time ever to be a landlord uh, in the four, uh, aforementioned states. I mean, you know, you, if you, if you don't have other businesses, other properties, other whatever, that can't subsidize the whole mortgage, the entire payment, then I would say don't even do it. <coughs> if you wanted to get into a three family house, a four family house, and you need, or even a two family house, and you needed that income from that apartment to pay your mortgage, don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. It's dangerous. It's, it, 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 you know, you're, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. And you're not the house. The house is the tenant. And the house always wins. You know, on the off chance that you might get some, it's okay. But right now, the tenants are the house. The tenants are the house, and at the end of the day, the house always wins. Right now in New York City, in California, in Oregon, in New Jersey, the tenants are the house. And every gambler knows that the tenant always wins. So, Jay Chan, I hear you, brother. Uh, I mean, it sounds like it works out for you because you got rid of the tenant. You paid over the holdover tenant, and that was a blessing. See Cookie in the background? And that was a blessing. God bless you. But the other guy, the other guy, the owner of that property that got foreclosed on, he's screwed. He's F because he not only got foreclosed on the house, but now that's on, you know, that's on his credit. He not only did he lose the house, but he got foreclosed on. So right now he's probably eating, you know, soup out of a can somewhere, renting a room. Renting a room. Renting a room. <coughs> Imagine being a 50 year old guy Renting a room Getting getting You know Your winter boots Because you're in New York City Getting your plastic winter boots From Payless And eating You know Tuna fish And your snacks From the 99 cent store At 50 years old I, Jesus Christ And it's all because It's all because These states, the, the aforementioned states have made the tenants the house. And it shouldn't be that way. I mean, it's not even fair. Fair, I understand, is not an adult word. I tell Cookie all the time, fair is not a word for adults. That's a children's word. That's a children's uh, word. That's a word for kids. Fair is not a word for adults. But I mean, I mean, goddamn, man, goddamn. Hey, it's not... It, it's not right, man. So, hey, we're in Miami. We've been here for, uh, I don't know, almost about a month and a half, two months, whatever. And uh, I don't know when we're going back, man. You know, we're at a condo here in Miami, just chilling poolside. And uh, all I can say is God bless America. God bless America. God help us. God help us all. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. Uh, if you're into watches, join us on Sunday where we talk Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. The holy trinity of watches, there's three. 
the holy trinity of watches. Number one, Rolex. Number two, Rolex. And number three, Rolex. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And uh, I'm out. Thanks for joining us. Mm.